All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 10. And in this lesson, uh, students are gonna continue using that less than, greater than symbol and the equal sign uh, to compare quantities. Um, we are gonna move slowly from talking about the alligator to make sure we're always talking about less than or greater than. So parents and teachers, it's perfectly fine to allow students to use that mnemonic for placing, getting that symbol, choosing the correct symbol. But we want to remind students to once to think about, like once that symbol has been placed, now let's say it as a number sentence, in which case we're going to start saying things like five is less than seven, or we might say eight is greater than three. We really want to connect the mnemonic with the proper math vocabulary. So let's get started on this. So here we're going to use the symbols to compare the numbers and then of course we need to connect once that symbol has been properly placed we need to connect it to the number sentence. So we can still allow and still encourage our students to think about that alligator and we know that the alligator always is going to eat the greater number, the bigger number and so in this case, the alligator is going to eat the 17. All right, so now that we've got the alligator located properly, facing the correct direction, we now want our students to really take a moment to think about how would we read this as a number sentence. Well, how does 17 compare with 13? Well, 17 is greater than 13. So our sentence is 17 is greater than. And that's the kind of thing that we want our students to be connecting is we don't want to just have an alligator and leave the mnemonic as that. We want to connect that alligator, that mnemonic, to the proper math vocabulary. Similarly, let's take a look at this one here. We're going to look at 23 and 33. Well, which one is the alligator going to want? Well, the alligator is going to want the 33. So we know that's the proper way to orient the alligator. So the alligator is facing the correct direction, eating the larger number. But now we want to read it like a book. And we want to say, well, how does 23 compare with 33? Ah, 23 is less than. 33. So we're going to put is less than 33. And that's the idea is we, we're going to always connect the symbol to the, the number sentence. Eventually, students are going to be able to go down here. We're going to be able to see, oh, we know that the alligator is going to eat the 32. And we want students to immediately be able to say, oh, that's 25 is less than 32. We want to kind of skip eventually, or at least internalize that alligator idea and go straight to the number sentence and using the symbols of mathematics. Now here it's more the same. We're going to continue using the symbols to make a true number sentence. What's different about this series of problems is that the, the way the numbers have been represented is a little on the tricky side. And that's because we're trying to reinforce that place value concept. When we look at 29 versus two tens and seven ones, we need students to either see two tens and seven ones as 27, or we need students to see that 29 can be thought of as two tens, two tens, and nine ones. And we want students to be able to, you know, look at the, I don't know, the way the numbers are represented and then make your decision. And in this case, we can see that 29 is larger than 27. So we are down here, we'll put uh, is greater than. And parents and teachers, uh, they don't leave a lot of work here for first grade hands to, <laughs> to write. So just fake it. It's okay if it, it gets a little messy. And let's do one last example. Well, let's do, uh, I guess this is letter L. So we've got something that's clearly 35 here. And what's three tens and five ones? Well, that's also 
35. So we have an equal sign. 35 is equal to 35. So we're going to put is equal to. And that is a horrible penmanship there. Is equal to three tens and five ones. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson 10, where we are continuing to use those symbols to compare numbers.